Good morning, good afternoon, what's up YouTubers, what's up Gunners, good evening wherever you're from. Uh, got a lot done on Maddie's car, today we're going to start doing uh, the fuel pump, I'll show you guys how to do that. And um, yeah, enjoy the vlog man, thank you so much for all your appreciation, I'm super excited today, I get to go visit Facebook, that'll be a whole nother vlog, I got invited by a Gunner. Uh, it's it's a, it's an amazing story. That vlog will be up real soon because I'm going today. We'll edit it. We'll put it out. Maybe this video comes first. Maybe the Facebook one. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but yeah, the car has came a long way, man. I got a lot done to it. Got the radiator, the hoses all done. Put some ground straps. Uh, put the battery in. I tucked that wire as neat as I can there. We're almost at starting up stage. We're just taking our time. I actually got to put the rims on. The suspension's all set up. And... Um, put the tie rods it just needs a you know an actual real wheel alignment but yeah enjoy the vlog man a lot of information is going to go into this uh keep gunning man all right guys so we're here stock fuel pump we are taking this out we are replacing it with a i think it's called t1 or ti automotive it's a it's a 255 also from what i hear it's one of the quietest ones on the market picked it up at tri-state um and it looks pretty it looks pretty good Let's see what it does. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the factory wiring. Oh, shoot. And put this sucker on right here. We'll cut it up. We'll crimp it. I've got some some shrinkable uh, butt connectors. I've got some, you know, just regular pliers, whatever you want to call them. Angled wrench here to get into this hose. And we'll get into it. I love this tool. And then the pick. So... Yep, yeah, let's start now. All right, so the first thing we want to do is get rid of this little safety holder here for the for the fuel pump connector. Fuel is so important also. You know, some people really don't factor that in. So you just remove this guy right here, use the pick. Some people really don't factor fuel in because they think that, you know, everything is about internals. But I think fuel is more important than internals. Because if your fuel delivery is correct and you're not running out of fuel, you can make a lot of power just with what you have. So Vicky's car, for example, is a bone stock K20A2. It has a 1,000 cc injectors and a fuel pump. It made about 240, and then it made like 350 on nitrous. It's a bone stock motor. Is this blurring out? Hold on. Let me get... Is this blurry? All right. You guys see what I'm doing. But yeah, we start with this hose clamp here. Just bring that guy up right there. And we're going to completely just take out the entire fuel pump first because we want to just get rid of this old one. Sometimes you should open this guy up. Maybe I should have grabbed the flathead. But sometimes you get lucky and it pops up. Christ, who put this on? Who put that on there, man? So yeah, if it's if it's jammed up, you just grab right here. Just open that up. Pull your stock pump out. All we need is the base. This is no longer good. We'll put that over there. Uh, I should have fucking microfibers here. All right, so we have a ground here, and we have our power source here. Some people upgrade this all the time and use like a relay, but you could do it from up here. So what we'll use is this factory gauge right now for for this. So now power and negative super easy to figure out black obviously is ground um power and negative <laughs> ground and power there it is right so we just want to match this as close as we can with the length of this so here we go here we'll take the ground we'll move it around to right here yeah 
Yeah, let's cut it just a bit. Let's cut it about right there. Okay. Make another guy here. So I can cut this wire off. So we're just basically getting rid of this plug right here. Hit it right there. Now what we have left is our power. Power is blue. We'll cut that there. We don't need this plug no more. Let's cut this to about the same length so it could look clean. And that's it. So we'll peel back this guy here. So this is what's cool, you can actually close it up. Boom, nice. So we'll just get both our wires ready. Watch it, guy. Twist that guy up. Now, oh, what I also want to do is, since this is easier to work with out, we want to just put one end of the connectors on this side. So we'll see what's the closest we got here. Too small. Perfect. So we'll go with this guy right here. Now, this is also shrinkable. So we'll crimp this on. This is a little too long. We'll just cut a little bit off of it. Perfect. Come on, autofocus. Do your jab. And that's it. Sometimes I wonder, are these are these clips a little too long because we're covering so much information? But what do you do? Do you stop? No, you don't. So that guy is on there. We'll put another one on the other end. The ground. <clears throat> Same deal. Trim it. Twist it, always twist, because it keeps it together. And then you can actually twist while going in. That's what she said. I have to work on my language too. I noticed that some of this more, more successful people on uh, YouTube really don't curse too much. It's just hard, because I'm from the street, <laughs> whatever. We, we curse, we actually curse just to say what's up. How you fucking doing, bro? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Hey, hey, I'm recording, bro. Do it over there, man. You slamming on the table. It's making sounds. So we'll shrink that guy. Forty gets pissed. He's so, I, I get him pissed so easily. I like messing with him. Humble his ass. Thinks he's too cool. So yeah, we're just burning the ends of it. And I'm going to give this some tape also. When it comes to something I don't want to reopen, I'd just rather take the precautionary steps. So I got some 3M tape. So yeah, now we're ready to set it up on the stock side. So we'll take the ground. We'll do the same thing. We'll strip it back. That's it. Twist it. Same thing. Grab our ground here. This plug is actually going to end up twisting like this because of the way that the pump is sitting. So let's get to this part. You're probably also wondering, oh man, are you, are you gonna are you gonna torch that? Isn't there fuel? Yeah, it needs a spark. It needs a spark, and uh, yeah. Now I'm nervous. Imagine this fail. All right, so we'll crimp this side. We'll start at the beginning just to bring it down. Move up.
when Vordy gets mad, he just leaves. But yeah, right there. Nice and clean. Beautiful work. Beautiful, beautiful work. Just closing up that loop. Just closing it. More protection. Peel the power back a little bit because it comes with like this loom around it. Maybe we should pull it up. Maybe we should pull it up and then just take some of it off. So we're just being careful and taking some of this loom off. But not crimping the wire. There it is. Nice. See? We didn't crimp the wire. We didn't cut the wire. We were just touching a little bit of this cloth that they put on it. Is that focusing? No. Whatever. Alright. So same difference. Here on the blue. Beautiful. Twist that up. I'm filming. All right. All right, I'm filming. And that's it. Crimp this bad boy up. No, no, I'm filming, guys. Come on, man. Do you guys want me to kick everybody out, man? I'm filming. I'm doing a video for YouTube. I don't understand. No problem. It's not you. I'm not mad at you. I'm, these people, they don't see the sign. I put a sign at the door. They have jobs. This is my job now. You know? I'm not hanging it. I'm not hanging it. I'm not hanging it. All right. We got this guy all, all set up. Check that out. Nice and clean. I just tape it for precautionary. Yeah, I think this vlog's gonna be. Yeah, this vlog just might end up being fuel pump. <laughs> this vlog might end up being fuel pump. Oh man. So when we tape, we want to get on the wire first, right? And then as we come around. We'll just go up nice and clean. And then when you get midway or near the end, you can actually just cut here and then twist that around. Now how safe are you gonna feel knowing that everything is done correctly? It's you just feel better, you know what I mean? So we'll do the same thing on the power side. What do we got here? We got our tape. Remember, we start at the wire. I'm also buying a, a, a new light. It's coming from Amazon for the camera. So the lighting will start getting better on the channel. But I think this lighting is decent right now. Ah, that's beautiful. That's nice and clean. Check that out, guys. It's nice and clean. All right, so swing this puppy back over here to the top. I'm sorry, it goes this way. So right here. We're gonna end up clipping in like this, okay? So now we grab our fuel pump, we take off this cap. Now, from experience, I know that we're gonna probably end up using zip ties also, just for safety reasons to keep it on but that's there. I want to go ahead now and just open up this bottom now while I have it out. So I grab it from right here and I just open it up. So normally people will just go down and out like that. Down and out. It opens it up a bit. All right. Also, I'll take some lube. That's what she said. I'll take some lube here. Put my glove, because I don't feel like moving the camera. So I'll take some lube here. Just lube that up. 
get into that hose. Who knows, uh, we might have to cut this hose. We might not have to. So we push this into the hose. It usually comes with like a replacement hose that you can make your own, but this one didn't. I don't know why. Here's what we got. All right, I'm gonna push this hose up off camera because I think this clip is too long. All right, so I pushed my hose up as far down as I can. I put the clamp. I also put the clamp facing out so it doesn't hit anything back here. So that's how it should mount up. The clamp where you can grip it is facing out. I'll lube this end up and take and put it onto the actual mount. I did take off the rubber from the mount because it was easier to push this on without trying to break this plastic. So I'll lube up this end and then push that up. Before I do that, I'm going to get my clamp ready. Put that sucker on. So same position forward, but just bring this down as, as far down as you can so you can push this hose up. We'll move the wire out of the way. Boom, we're in position there. So what we wanna do is we're gonna end up messing around with this guy on the bottom here to open it up to allow this to come down. So I'll just get this clamp up. Hope you're enjoying. Use the 90. Well, it looks like a 45, whatever it is. Double check it. Perfect. It's money. It's money. So we're going to open up this guy right here so we can sink this to almost sit flush here. So we almost have it flush, and then what we'll do now is, if you can actually see, we're going to try to flatten this guy down with this, so we can actually hold it. Forty, let me get some zip ties, please. Zip ties. We're getting there. Zip ties, zip ties. Zip. Forty, forty, zip tie, zip tie, the black one inside the bottom drawer. Wake up, pal. Well, how long you been here? How long you been in the shop, buddy? That one? Yes, sir. You the man. All right, boys and girls, we're money. We got this guy flat. We're with the pump just for safety reasons. I'm just going to put a zip tie around here. And that's it. I really don't want to. Can I get? Can I go a little further down? Yeah, maybe it could. Mhm. Mm yes, sir. Oof. All right, there we go. So we'll just plug this in now. Always remember, just try to match up the color so black to black, red to red, and. Son of a bitch is tight. Good. Perfect. Put that away nice and neat. Zip tie. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Our fuel system is done. Uh, this pump can probably support almost 500. 50 horsepower. I think it's like 120 bucks, 130 bucks. That's it. We're finished. Fuel system is done. We got our lines ran. S slipped this baby back in. 
bolted up, put our uh, fittings and lines on, and we're finished. There it is. So we'll move on to the car now. Everything is super secure. I could probably end up taking, I just really don't like moving stuff around. We can I'd probably just put this clip back to where it is, nice and neat. And maybe just zip tie this also next to the pump. But it's done. Let's get to the car. All right, guys, so we got our pump all set, ready to go in. Um, that's it, just install it. Now we wanna just get this filter in nice and neat. Nice and easy. Get that guy to go down and goes in on an angle. And we'll send the harness down as the uh, as the pump goes down with it. And you could turn it around every now and then and just try to get the right angle for it. It is tricky with this extra big plug, you know. Alright, so let's try it. Trying to do this as gently and nice as possible without cutting or damaging anything. But this plug, this plug is huge. It's usually an easier transaction, buddy. Okay, we got it. We got it. Nice and easy. We're not in a race. Make sure nothing is getting caught up as we go down. Move it around gently. Okay, that's perfect. Keep the gasket up. Oh, yeah, we got it. Got it. We have our gasket. All right, beautiful. That's it. So from here, same thing. We're just going to put our tens back nice and neat. And um, that's it. Maddie vacuumed in here before we installed this back in. Should have did that before. Uh, before. So uh, word of advice, try and vacuum before working on the fuel system. We kind of did it backwards. We apologize. Uh, maybe that's not a good example. But um, yeah, vacuum before working on it, before taking off this cap. And that's it. There goes your fuel pump. It's explained, it does the right thing. And uh, it's definitely uh, a valuable and beneficial upgrade. Keep gunning. Yeah guys, so you know what? I'm gonna leave this, this, leave this vlog alone and leave it just for fuel pump. Uh, I hope it was informative. I hope you apply the same techniques that I use just to make your life easier. And you can always think back into the back. You can always think in the back of your mind. You can always have in the back of your mind that you did it correctly. And you're not going to run into a hiccup at the dyno. And because because ultimately that's what it's about. You know, you want to get to the dyno and have no problems. Basically, that's what we want to do. We want to end up finishing tuning this car. When Jamie tunes it, it should be done in three pulls two to three pulls the max we're not trying to sit on the dyno for 40 pulls or three hours just fixing bugs so try to make your tuners lives easier by having your car super ready super prepared because at the end it's just going to cost you more money it's a hundred it's a hundred to 150 dollars an hour on the dyno so let's work neat let's work clean let's buy the right parts let's install the right parts correctly and from there, we can just finally enjoy these Hondas that we build all the time. So I'll end this vlog now. I hope it was beneficial. I hope it was super informative. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Thank you guys so much for believing in me. Uh, wish me luck at Facebook. And uh, over and out, man. Keep gunning.